Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to install the Jelly Bomb ROM on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I'm very excited to install this ROM as it is the first ROM I have installed on my device, so looking forward to it. Uh, first of all, you do need to make sure you are rooted and have a custom recovery, whether it be Clockwork Mod or Twerp Recovery, it does not matter. You need to make sure you have a custom recovery installed. Otherwise, what you can do is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description of the video will take you to this website right here. Before I do point you in the right direction, I do want to give a huge shout out to Josh Beach, the developer of this ROM. Be sure to thank him. He puts so much time and effort into these ROMs and theming them and everything, uh, just getting it going for you. So please spend some time and send him a quick thank you. Otherwise, go ahead and scroll down. You'll see Jelly Bomb uh, ROM. Keep scrolling down. Keep going. Keep going. Gives you a bunch of information about the ROM. And here is latest downloads right here. So you'll see latest downloads. Go ahead and click on uh, click on the latest download. The version at the moment of this video is 3.0. It could be, it could potentially be updated uh, from the time of this video. So just kind of keep that in mind. Just download the latest version. Uh, it will take a little bit of time. The file size is large. Once you download the file, it will be a zip file. Just transfer it over to your Note 2. So plug your Note 2 into your PC. Transfer it on over. Don't unzip it. Just transfer the zip file onto your device. And then you can go back to your phone. And once you have that ROM zip transferred over to your Note 2, we are ready to go. Go ahead and just power off your device. Let it fully shut down. And once it's fully powered off, we need to get into that customer coverage. To do so, press and hold volume up, home button, and power button all at the same time. Keep it held down to the first Samsung screen lights up. Let go as soon as that Samsung screen lights up. And then it will reboot you into your custom recovery. As I, as I said, uh, Team Win or uh, Clockwork Mod works. Twerp or Clockwork Mod, either one works. Same method as well. Otherwise, here is uh, Twerp Recovery that I have installed. First of all, I highly recommend making an Android backup. Go to the backup option and make one. I already have one on my device, so I don't need to make one, but I do highly recommend having one. Just in case anything goes wrong, you can go to the Restore and restore that Android backup, and you'll be back exactly where you were when you made the backup. All right, so now to install this ROM, you are going to need to wipe. I highly recommend wiping uh, data, so I do recommend doing a factory reset. You don't have to, but if you do run into issues, I highly recommend just going in and doing a factory reset right here. Um, otherwise, if you don't want to do a factory reset, just wipe cache and Dalvik cache, uh, but I'm going to fully wipe everything. So I'm going to go ahead and go to factory reset and wipe that. It's going to factory reset my entire device. Again, you don't have to but it is recommended by me. Um, you can install it. If you do have issues, you need to go back into the recovery and do a factory reset. Now go to wipe cache as well. The same method as well on Clockwork Mod. Doesn't matter whether you're using Twerp or Clockwork Mod. Then hit back and then go to Dalvik cache and wipe that as well. If you have Clockwork Mod, Dalvik cache is under the advanced menu. Now hit back, hit back again, and we're ready to install. Go to the install menu, and then it says use external or internal storage. It does not matter whatever one you transfer that zip file. And go ahead and select that Jelly Bomb ROM zip and hit swipe to confirm flash. And we are gonna go ahead and install it. You'll see JB and Team Venom, Josh Beach, uh, probably present Jelly Bomb ROM. So it is now going to install. It is a very big file, so it's gonna take a bit of time. So just be patient with that install process and let it run through. I'll be back once it's done. All right, you will see successful. The ROM is now done installing. We are ready to go. Just now hit reboot system. And then our phone will reboot, and once it boots up, we will be running that Jelly Bomb ROM on our Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation. Uh, it does have a custom boot animation, I do believe. I guess not. Um, we haven't uh, figured out a way to get custom boot animations on the kernel yet. So also, one quick note, the first boot up will take a little bit of time, so you're going to need to be patient with it since Dalvik cache was wiped and a potentially a factory reset. So be patient with that first boot up. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure in a later build, it will have a custom boot animation. But again, I'm going to be doing a separate review video of this ROM, going over the many features and uh, the theme as well. So be sure to check that out. Uh, I'll link to it in the description of the video. But otherwise, I'll be doing many more videos for ROMs and such on the Note 2. So be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.